Hello everyone, this is uh, Kilo One Fox Mike, and today we're testing the little um, RTL 2832U together with the CT1FFU up converter in order to um, receive uh, short waves uh, on a Mac. Um, so let's hook it up. I'm using another computer just to um, power the the app converter, so don't get confused. The other computer is uh, worthless. It's just powering the USB of the the app converter. This is the Bor IP server, which is part of the GR dash BAS uh, package that you can use if you wish with a, a Mac and this is uh, HDSDR using a wine uh, it's ready to go and now it's starting here we go here we go uh, So signals are not super strong because uh, I am in an apartment and I have an indoor antenna at this time, which is right here. So signals are, are, are weak and uh, they appear to be as strong as they would be on my uh, FT817. Uh, still they are very clear. As you can see, uh, Weak signals are perfectly um, understandable. Quality is fine. I, I don't see any problem. Uh, especially if you consider that uh, the receiver is uh, is what it is. It's a toy receiver, which used to cost just six dollars in the past. So let, let, let's see if we have some CW signals. The filter is pretty tight. Okay. This is a super weak signal in CW. Here's another one. Now, I, I have compared these signals with the 817 I, I could show this in this video signals are the same the, the sensitivity of, of the uh, of the setup appears to be um, pretty much in line with the 817 I don't see a big difference maybe this appears to be better than the 817 despite what they say about the app converter despite what they say about the um, RTL uh, I don't find any problems. Uh, I actually sometimes find it to be better than a, an actual radio. Unfortunately, there is not much propagation, and uh, from indoor, I, I I don't receive much more than than what I'm showing you. So. I cannot show you 20 meters right now. But uh, it's equally good. Okay, this is pretty much it. Um, my suggestion is if you haven't yet uh, purchased an RTL. 28, 32U, just buy one and keep, start using it because it's uh, super fun. You can use it basically on any frequency between 0 and uh, 1700 megahertz. And it can get you started with uh, SDR as it did with me. 
and also with G GNU Radio, which is a very interesting project for, you know, doing some tests and some research. Just for $30, that's what it costs now, and, S and RTL, plus the, the app converter, and it's a kit, and it's uh, also not expensive, probably less than $50, something like that. Okay, let's stop it. So I'm completely satisfied with this setup and as I've said in different uh, forums, uh, this little thing right here, it's the funniest and the best receiver that I ever had, that I have ever had. For sure is the, is the cheapest. <laughs> I'm, I'm using it all the time and uh, I recommend it to you. So best 73 is from uh, Kilo One Fox Mike. This is my new call sign. And uh, I hope to catch you on the air soon. Bye-bye.